Alright, hey guys, I'm Simon, and today we're playing a new game. Well, not this is virtual dub, so we're not playing virtual dub. We are playing a game called Learning 001. That's curious. Let's see if this even loads. Uh, let's maybe move this into place. Oh, look, powered by Unity. Hmm, so we have a, a, a red square and then a white square and then a black background and uh... let's see, I'm, I'm just gonna press some arrows my arrow keys on the keyboard, oh look the red square moves around uh... we can't seem to get out of the, the white square though um... well, isn't this a fun game? is uh... okay so you can probably tell that I'm not being entirely serious, no it's not a fun game but, but it is a game that I made. Well, it's not even a game. It's w so it was powered by Unity. Basically, the story is I'm learning Unity, and Unity, if you don't know, is a. Let's see, where's my Windows? Here we go. Unity is a game engine uh, that you can download for free. Uh, why do you have to click twice? Anyway, you can download it for free. But if you want the full... Whoa, wait, okay, I see. I've already got a license, that's why. But if you go to store... There's a free version and a pro version. The pro version costs a whole $1,500, so that's kind of expensive. But uh, the free version, it, it's mostly functional. It's missing a few of the high-end features. But basically it's a 3D game engine that uh, you can use to very easily build games. Obviously building games from scratch is quite difficult. And there are other engines like Unreal and I guess the Source Engine from Valve and, and things like that, but Unity, I guess the good thing about it is free and it's fairly, it's designed to be easy to use. And so this, this me, the squares and, 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 and that and the arrow keys, that's basically my first attempt at learning tr how to use this. So um, it's actually a 3D game engine, so you might be surprised to learn after looking at this that this is in fact a 3D game. <laughs> I deliberately made it look like it's 2D. Let's see if I can rotate this around. So we have the camera. Let's see, is it the main camera? It's set to orthographic projection, that's why it looks at 2D, right? Because so rendering everything straight on. There's the red box, there's the white square, there's the black square behind it, if we can zoom out. So there's a the back, black background. So basically it's that. And I don't know if any of you are interested in, in designing games or ever thought about it. It's not easy. I can tell you that. Like I've I studied architecture and then before that I I played around with programming a little bit. So I know a bit of the basics. Like I know 3D animation, I know 3D modeling, I know Photoshop. I know you know, I've used um Adobe Flash before, I've done a bit of scripting, I've done a bit of programming, so I've, I know the basics, so I can pick this up, and I, I made this in about two or three hours, learning Unity from scratch, but knowing the stuff. And I think most of that time, I mean, the getting used to the controls is not too difficult. There's, oops, that's not it, there's tutorials to get you started. Oh, that's the Unity Pro, one and a half thousand dollars, and also there's other plugins that allow you to publish to Flash and Android and all that. So if you want to design games, that's not actually very much money to get yourself invested. But, uh, you know, there's tutorials, but they don't really teach, they don't seem to teach you how to script. Um, yeah, so, so getting used to the interface was not too difficult. This was probably what took me the longest time because I, I haven't actually used very much JavaScript before, and that's probably very bad code. So that's the code there. If any of you are interested in, in programming, I copied half of this from a tutorial. I guess this is, it's this half. It's speed. Well, I, I kind of modified a little bit. So the get axis is your arrow keys. There's the vertical and horizontal axes. And then that makes it, you know, move 10 units per second, apparently. And then, you know, that transforms the object by whatever, you know, you're moving it at. And here, this is what I wrote, constraining it to the white box. 
let's see, so this, you know, you see how it doesn't actually move out of the black box. And that's probably the worst part of this little script. I think these values should probably be variables up here as well, but basically if you're more than 5 on the vertical or less than negative 5 on the vertical, then it sets your movement uh, speed to 0 and then it just moves the box onto 5 and so on, so then you, you never get past 5 units, whatever that means. So, I mean, if you... I don't think any of you are... I don't know how many... I, I know a few of you actually are into game design. I've seen a few people say they, they've tried things with the source engine and things like that. So, anyway, if you're not interested in any of this stuff... um, Yeah, so I'm gonna try and pick up Unity and make a few things out of it. I've um, you know, I've got one or two ideas that I want to try out, and it's not too difficult. Let's see. Uh, one thing that I really like... Well, I don't really like it, but... One thing that uh, I thought I could do... Uh, this might be a bit loud. You might want to take off your headphones when this loads. Okay, so I just... oh, you can mute it by zero. Uh, okay, so let's... Mute that. So basically this game is just you running. But you see the background, there's... I guess three layers in the background, maybe more, I, you can't really tell. So basically it's just you running. Oh well. And you just run until you die. So the game itself is like a one-button game, so it's very basic. And uh, maybe I can do something like this? I'm thinking. Probably not the jumping, probably not the dying part, because if you've been watching my various analysis of games, I've been seeing how, you know, dying is actually not fun. <laughs> so uh, I'll try to make mine a little bit more casual, a little less difficult. But Cannibal by... what's his name again? Adam Atomic. So that, I, I thought that's a pretty interesting game. Just a, something simple that it's I can probably make a realistic goal to start with. So uh, maybe I can try making something similar in Unity. So that's the plan for now, and that's also why I started off with making the 3D engine do a 2D thing like this, because you know I was thinking ahead to what I... to this idea that I have. Um, these videos might be few and far between, I don't know how often I'll manage to do a little bit of this, but you know, if you're interested, I'll uh, try to commentate myself designing this thing as I go. I'll, I'll, I'll cut this short and not go on for too long, but if you guys have any questions or if you're interested or if you want to ask any questions in the comments and I'll answer it, and I guess that will give me a better idea of what you guys are interested in in learning and finding out or, or maybe just tell me to stop talking until I finish the game. Um, Alright. And also if you're interested in how I'm capturing the screen, it's Virtual Dub and XSplit Broadcaster. Using um, Explit Broadcaster to enable virtual camera output and then taking that camera output in virtual dub and then capturing that so I can get sound as well. Alright, so yeah, I'll leave it off here and hmm, any questions? And I, I really have no idea where I'm going to take or where I'm going to go with this, but hopefully We'll get a game out of it in the end, and you guys can download it and play it <laughs> if you think it's fun. Just a little something to start off with. Nothing too... But, but even... Like, I've done programming before, right? And I've done... I've tried when I was much younger. I've tried making games before. And even a small goal, even a game like Cannonball that we just saw, even that would take you a long time, especially when you're starting out. So, you know, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> 
it might be something quite simple in the end. Anyway, um, hopefully, I think the next thing I want to do, if you guys are interested in any way, I want to look at um, we can create particles, particle systems. So uh, we can zoom in a little bit. So we have a, a thing here that's throwing out particles. I want to try particles out. I don't know... oh, shape. Oh, that, that's the cone. Can I have a box? Cool. That's a, more of what I want. Can we define the particle shapes? Emission? Rate and time? No. Can I customize the particle? Velocity over lifetime, limit velocity, limit color over lifetime, size, rotation, color, sub emitters, texture. Wait, what? Texture sheet animation. I don't even know how this works. What I want to do is to have these particles be a custom shape. I might be just missing this completely. Start size constant five. Okay, so now it's a giant beam of plasma. That's what it looks like. So um, obviously this is almost preset for smoke. Or well, it makes it very easy to do smokes and electrical sparks and things like that. Or even water. Things that you usually see. But uh, I actually want actual objects. Anyway, I'll look at this on my own time. So that's the next thing I want to figure out, and we'll see if this works out. I might have to use a different method to try what I want to do. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hopefully something good comes up with this. Uh, let me just stop the recording.